Hello everyone, Debman here, and welcome to part 10 of Yes, Your Grace. Hope you're having yourself a great day. And depending when this comes out, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil Village over the last 24 to 48 hours. I must have finished about 6-7 runs of it, all within the first couple of weekends. I'm really hoping to get into uh, running it as a speed game, and I hopefully will maybe see it on the channel here one day too. But until then... We are preparing for Redovia, which is coming in 11 weeks. We are currently sitting at 37 resources, and from the count of it, it actually looks like we're making a lot of money. We're making about 22 gold a day, which will be nice, and uh, our armies are currently being fed as well, so things are looking pretty good for us. Uh, we even need to eventually prepare the Witch and the General for battle as well against Redovia, but till then, let's jump right into it. Grenville week 19. Oh, not a lot of petitioners today. Oh, I lied. Here comes the rest of them. Welcome, Masha. Are you one of the allies we sent for? Oh, you were. Okay. Hello, Masha. Jonas, that buffoon with the stupid red gloves. Let me some gold. I'll pay you back in a week, he said. I will break his legs if I see him. Your Grace, I lent this fellow 28 gold. He said he would pay me back with interest. Boy. Oh, I know the type. Now I hear he's off to Calder, the other end of the world. Probably enjoying hot sunshine and Caledese brothels. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in this rat hole with no wages to pay my men. I've got until this evening to pay them, otherwise they'll leave. Where the hell will I find a new crew then? I need this money only for two weeks. I should be able to make that up to you after. So, you want gold. I mean... If it gets me your army, I could definitely uh, potentially use that, that's for sure. But you're going to leave me short of pocket this week. Fine. I'll help you, but you need to pay it back with interest. I suppose you'll be finding Jonas anytime soon if he went to Calder. Of course. Thank you, Your Grace. See you in two weeks. I, what I wouldn't do to find that jack o -naps. I don't know what a jack o -nap is, but see you later. Hopefully we're not screwed till then. Uh, we're good for now. Thanks, Audrey. Uh, Dragon Slayer. Your Grace. There is no trace of Lisha in the forests. So I thought, as clever as I am, I know there were, I know where to look for their lairs in old tree trunks. Here's, the, oh my gosh, I can't read today. Here, take this bloody horn as proof of my courageous deeds. That looks like a. A kiwi. Ha! You couldn't have defeated the beast, as there was no monster in the forest. You fell for our ruse. All your tales are lies, just like this one. What? Me? A liar? No way! I brought the proof, didn't I, your grace? Could as well be a deer. This horn doesn't exactly strike me as coming from a monster. What else, your grace? Lisha is just like any other animal. It has horns. It bleeds. Surely you weren't expecting the horn to glow. The dragon's tail isn't exactly original, is it? So Frederick, so Frederick says your retell of the story it changes a few details each time. Very well. Cats out of the bag. At least I don't have to put on the show anymore. It can be very tiring at times, if I'm perfectly honest. People want to see this amazing knight, this dragon slayer. So I show them what they want to see. Lidja? And the proof? A stag. At least my stories don't hurt anyone. And I don't have a drinking problem. If you have something, say it to my face. I hear what the wind is spreading. Problems with rum. Wife walking around with a black eye. You don't believe him, do you, Grace? He's a liar, making all this up. 
You used to recognize around the courtyards, but the fa the, the memory is fading. That's it. Draw your sword and let's see if you're more than just a trickster. I want to see this play out. In your current state, I didn't expect much more. If you're lucky, I don't quite feel like fighting right now. Your grace, it's just a, it's just a hoax, but it doesn't matter. The message is what's important. Those story warms people's hearts. I hope to give a better for tomorrow. People always think they see basilisks, lichens, stringers, and even while it's usually a fox, stray dog, or even a cat. If I bring them boar skin or deer horn, they ten tell them that it was the monster they sleep better at night. They can get back to work feeling safe. And if I make extra gold on the side, so what? Aren't we all frauds? Kings, for example. People always come to see the king because he knows everything. They expect you to give wise advice, and they'll just put the greatest trust in your words. But it answers yourself. Do you always know what to do? I know everything. Uh, I'm a king. I always know what I'm doing. Of course, your grace. Your grace. We surely can't let him spread more lies. I won't allow this. If you let Noxay join your banner, then I won't stand by your side. Oh, I won't join if he joins. With his intemperance, I won't stand next to him during battle. In all the turmoil, he could stab me and no one would even know. Jovan, a good guy. He trains with me. I will make sure to send my recommendation. Don't forget that. Uh, I wish I could see the, uh, what they bring to the tables. Sir Frederick, I'm with you. Sir Frederick, you have one more battle ahead of you. I knew I could trust your judgment, your grace. It's time with those with real experience take the lead, Noakes say. A shame, your grace. Nonetheless, I wish you the very best in your battle. Oh, will someone clean up this mess? So we only lost a hundred soldiers. But we lost five of the, uh, five grain. But we did get four gold, two grain, and a few less soldiers. So we lost a hundred soldiers. That seems okay. I think that'll be all right. We could still bring Greco in. Because, uh, what was it? He said he would give, uh, the okay to someone else to bring in. So maybe we'd bring in Greco? I mean, that way we'd equal one Noxy, kind of. We'd still be, what, 40 soldiers short? All right, on to the next. Your Grace, I'm a sorcerer from the market. Your petitioners often visit me if you refuse to help them. I aid many people as I can for little in return. It's not often enough to cover all the ingredients I need for potions. As it stands, I'm out of most of my ingredients at the moment. And the queue to my place isn't any shorter than yours. Would you please be able to spare out with some extra gold? I can't! I can't do this. Boy, uh, Our witch has her own set of potions. Day, if we send her to help you for a few more weeks, you can make some more gold to buy ingredients. A witch! No wonder people come back to me so sick. All a witch can do is lie. Witches cannot heal people. You try to insult me, your grace? Huh. I will pass on this ridiculous offer. That's a shame. Torlando. Ahem. <clears throat> to you I come, a truly humble kind. I hope you'll find, in well shape and good mind. Your grace, this is Torlando. A writer known across many halls and taverns. Excuse me. It's not just Torlando. I am <coughs> Torlando the Wonderful. Writer and poet recognized in all the kingdoms expressing the artistic renaissance. The popularity of whom discusses even in kingdoms of stagnant growth yields yells Kaldor and Moravia. And Redovia, of which I will remain silent for the known reasons. Very well, what can I do for you? Your grace, if I may. I'm working on my latest release. 
but I have no clue how to finish this piece. It's a story of royal intrigues, oaths of the past, foolish pleasance, and passionate lust. Oh my god, singing song is so hard. May I work? May I honor your grace with my latest work? I don't have time for this. Just skip to the part where you ask for me to help you. Well, we're off to a great start, I see. <coughs> I have hit a wall and I cannot write at all. I am desperate for some true inspiration. I strongly believe that seeing your general patrolling would get my creative juices rolling. Therefore, I beg of you, please, allow your general to join me to get out of the squeeze. Oh, I don't know if he's around. Come back another time. I wish I could help. Perhaps another time. I will try to keep a general available to assist you. I can see the desire in your eye to hear more of my wonderful poetry. I shall be back in two weeks. Your general better be ready by then. Oh, Torlando. He's going to be the next big sensation. Your grace, part of our village was flooded. Luckily, no one got hurt, but our homes were devastated. We could really use some gold to buy resources to rebuild our houses. Can I give him resources instead? We don't have enough gold. Ah, oh, we lost two. I'm afraid my revenue stream is a little dry right now. However, if your neighbors will bail you out, you just ask around. Suppose we might get help from others. Jeez. That was a big bill to get that other person. Alright, so no one else, so that's the end of the week. Still invite a lord. Well, let's get Greco then. Let's invite Greco. And we'll end this week. So now I think we're actually losing money. Yeah, because Elena and Stan are back. So that's 20 gold. And that's 23 gold we're paying out. How much are we making now? 24. We're making like 5 gold. And at least our, uh, our cost for our army up keeps a little lower. Oh, the big question is, are we going to be able to um, have enough money in the next few weeks for everyone coming in? Grieve no. Week 20. Dear father, King Ivo greatly mourns the loss of his father. The funeral took place as soon as we arrived in Atana. Talus is sorely missed amongst the lords and advisers. Together with King Ivo, we prayed for the justice for his father. They say he's in a better place now. The journey home helped Ivo clear his head, and he realized as King of Davern, you didn't have anything to do with his poisoning father. Although you and the King Ivo didn't part in the friendliest manner, Ivo wishes to apologize for his words, but says that his advisors forced him to stand strong by his decision. King Ivo wishes to send you support, as his father promised, but his hands are tied with royal trial until the royal trial is concluded. He counts on your quick investigation into the murder, which he believes will prove you're innocent. Losulia. Oh, it's about time. We haven't heard it. King Ivo. I still can't get used to that. No one is, uh, no one imagined Ivo taking the throne so soon. It's good. At least he knows he didn't, I didn't poison Talus. We still need to convince his advisors and lords. They will need to see the murderer before they support sending their whole army to help Davin. We will find the one responsible, I'm sure. Let's ask Losulia something else. Uh, let's ask her about herself. Ask Losulia how she is. What has she done with her time? Tell her everyone is missing her. Very well, Your Grace. I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply in a couple of weeks. All right, let's talk to the general. Your Grace, I have returned from Babushka village. I stayed out for two nights with my men. Nothing happened apart from some foxes going through the rubbish. We didn't find anything, but the villagers felt, said they felt safer with us there. Thank you for the report. Keep up the good work. Okay, that led to nothing. I have helped the worshippers with the spirits, Your Grace. There's a lot of people gathering in the sh new shrine now. Thank you, Yolana. Your help is always appreciated. Greco! You sent a pigeon for me? 
I have. Welcome to our castle. I presume you've heard about our upcoming battle with Rodovia. I have, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I want to help. So here's my deal. I pride myself in the knowledge of art. My collection of paintings is the biggest in the kingdom. My, I own paintings by the most prestigious artists. Sevek Venge, Monowitzki, Pisak. You get the idea. I've heard recently they've been holding a very valuable painting. It would be perfect for my collection. The Stork by Selvig van Ge. I... Um, don't say anything yet. You haven't heard the rest of my deal. I can offer you 80 well-trained men and three supplies. Wow. That painting must mean more... That, must, that painting must mean a lot to you. Of course it does. I need it to vanish from this castle. I mean, it'll look better in my gallery, alongside the others. I imagine the painting is hanging somewhere, so I'll give you time to take it down. That is, of course, if you agree to my deal. I would like to pick it up personally, so invite me whenever you're ready. I'll take it down right away. I will get the painting as ready as soon as I'm done with my duties. Fabulous. I cannot wait. I'll be waiting for the pigeon. I found this animal tooth. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? Do you have beasts in your dungeon, Eric? You'd better find a hunter to deal with this. I found this Nebranca. Can you tell me anything about it? It's a used file, glass. I'm not sure what more I could tell you, Grace. Okay, thanks for your nothing, Greco. I'll find that painting and send you. Bye. Yo, Grace, I come from this. An odd fog surrounding the forest. Anyone who goes into the fog disappears without a trace. A few local adventurers came forward. They said they would find the one responsible, but never came back. We're thinking the fog turns fr people into frogs, bugs, maybe. But there's plenty of them in the forest, and no sign of the people who go in there. I think it's a task for the witch. Perhaps the fog has some magical origin. It'd be best to send a witch to check on it. Perhaps she can handle the situation. Of course. Fight magic with magic. You got a smart head on your shoulders, and no wonder you're the king. Thank you. That was polite. Oh, your grace. My boy, my dearest grandchild. He got himself into big, big trouble, your grace. He asked me to not to come here, but I, I don't know where else to go. He's been involved in the, the Oracle Dust Sale for some time. It's harmless, he told me. Only selling to begin with, but he recently started using it as well. He was over the moon, so happy and giggly at first. He even tried to convince me to use it to relax, but I am no lady to get involved in this nasty business. Now he's very ill, your grace. Can't lead the bed, my poor baby. He keeps asking me to bring him more dust, but I know this is the cause of his illness for sure. He tells me it'll make him feel better. I have no heart to look at him at this state, barely moving, with skin as blue as blueberries. Please help your grace. <sighs> he sent the witch out already. Sorry, we can't help. We can't help your grandson. He needs to stay strong until his illness passes. Oh, that was a four hit. Dang. Make sure he stays hydrated and don't let him take any more of the dust. He'll come too. I really hope he does, your grace. I don't know what I'd do without him. All right, what is the cook one? Your grace. A rooster's been running through our kitchen for days, but we finally managed to catch him. It was a beautiful bird. Could have kept him, as we already have a rooster, but I made a delicious broth. Our staff liked it so much, I thought I'd bring some for you to try. I'm not sure where this chick came from, but it was surely fed. Oh, no. Sidani's going to kill me. Why couldn't you ask me first? This was my daughter's pet. Oh, your grace, I, I didn't know. My apologies. It's fine. I hope she doesn't need to send him now that Stabber is gone. I'd better check on her later. Oh, man. Poor Sidani's got a bad track record with pets. Well, let's go tell her that her rooster is gone. Your grace? I had to let the rooster go, Sidani. I let the rooster free. I'm sorry. He really wanted to get outside the castle walls. He's going to be happier if he's free. Thank you, Your Grace. I wanted to do this myself. 
he wasn't suited to be an agent. All he did was poop everywhere. I'm glad you set him free, Father. I'm glad too. Please be careful with these animals, Potato Head. I am, Your Grace. Wait, was this the... Oh, yeah, the stork thing. Aha, got it. Now I need to give it to Greco, so I gotta send him a bird. Greco, invite! Um, Ada's out. And our general is still here. I want to keep the general because the, um... The arts guy, or not the arts guy, but, um... Cool. Yeah, it was the arts guy. We'll keep the general around for a week. And then we'll send him out next week. Oh, uh, let's see. We should uh, wrap this up now. Because we are at the end of this. We're looking pretty good right now. We're making money again. We're actually making a lot more now that the witch is out. So, uh, when the general comes back, uh, we'll need him to send him off with the artist next week. But for now, that's the end of part 10. Thank you for watching. Hit the bell, subscription button and the bell so you can be notified when we go live again. You can also follow me on my social media at the Deadman2DX on Twitter or the Deadman2DX on Twitch. See you in the next one.